What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be hanging out with Mercury Fallen, a game we tried out a long, long time ago, like a year ago, when it first came out on itch.io. It was just a little tiny baby game back then and now it's got a full Steam release. So let's see what new content has been added. If you've never seen the game before, it's a colony manager in the future where you explore the surface for resources, then come back to your base in order to command robots to do your bidding and also eat a whole lot of random plants out of ground squares. So let's go with a new game. Uh, I have no idea what's going with Map Seed Struggle, huh? Iron, Copper, George. It's pretty cool stuff in there. Morris, Cube. All right. Maybe I should go with like a normal sized map. Let's find something that's like not 90% water. Unless water is really, really important. I don't remember if water is important in this game. Hmm. It wasn't the last time I played, I don't think. But then at the same time, maybe it is. I don't know. Spoon. The Planet Spoon. There you go. One of the best planet names you could have asked for. The Planet Tape. The Planet Space. Uh, let's go with the Planet Balls. What happens if you do the Planet Balls? Does that happen? Let's start on the Planet Balls. Surely nothing terrible will happen on the Planet Balls. By the turn of the 22nd century, space exploration was dominated by corporate interests. Once a task for government, space travel became a competitive market where companies pushed boldly and blindly into the black, intent only on a return on investment. For the first time in human history, Infinity Corp. was about to attempt the colonization of a planet outside of Earth's solar system. The construction vessel Mercury was launched to start the automated construction of an underground facility on an alien planet. A small research team was also sent to survey the planet before a colony ship full of settlers left Earth. The research team would awake from stasis automatically shortly after their arrival, or at least, that was the plan. Congratulations on being an Infinity Corp pioneer. Mercury Fallen is still in alpha development, not feature complete. Okay. Sounds good to me. I guess we'll just close that down. Let's have a look around. So we've got ourselves like a little base right here. We've got an open stasis capsule. We've got a closed stasis capsule. Can I tell them to, how do I open this right here? So we can deconstruct it. We've got capsule control. We can open the capsule. Yeah, open the capsules. Do it. Let's pop these things like a tab. There we go. The capsules are opened. And so now we have multiple people. We have Noel Sullivan, who apparently has really good health. Uh, outfit colors, we can change that around if we want to. Uh, jobs wise, appears to be pretty much just an all arounder. Does a little bit of everything. Is that how all of our starting people are going to be? Yep, it looks like so. Teresa Gretsch is no different, and Ada Petritus is no different as well. Okay, sounds like an okay, or an okay plan to me. I assume we very likely want to deconstruct these for resources. So let's go ahead and tear these apart real fast. If I was a smart terraforming slash research company on another planet, I'd make it so everything inside of here could be reclaimed and used in other parts inside of our little stasis startup package. Sounds all right to me. The robot got one done. What do we have right there? An item container. That's got a little bit of bioplastic, a copper ingot, and some other stuff inside of it. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, looks like we can probably wipe... What is this right here? That's a biorefiner. A station to refine biomaterials. Okay. So we can make structural resin, bioplastic, and cloth right there. And all we need is mineral compound. Alright. Let's maybe start out by getting rid of some of this trash over here. Just kind of like... Yeah, iron that all over. I'm sure it'll be okay. Go ahead and wipe that out right there and wipe that out right there. Give them a little something something to do. Get this place cleaned up ever so slightly. And I think what I would also like to do is maybe get started with the mining over here. It looks like we're going to have water or something right there. No guarantees on what's going to happen. And so open a supply chest. Where's the supply chest at? Is that it right there? Yeah, open the canister. Why not? So it looks like we've got some anthracite, which is just a variety of coal. We've got some steel ingots over there, and it looks like we've got some emergency rations. Sounds good to me. Throw those on the ground real fast. What is that? A coal generator. Okay. Let's keep that moving right there. I'm going to try and keep everything cleared on out. That's hematite. Okay, so that's going to be our iron supply on that side. Looks like we've got another stasis capsule on that side, and we've got ourselves another robot. Let's go ahead and activate the Brobot. Brobot, help us out with everything, Brobot. 
I need your assistance with all of these strange tasks. Brobot always has your back. You gotta, you gotta keep Brobot squared away with all the natty light he can drink, though. If Brobot doesn't have natty light, he is an unhappy camper. So that's gonna be a whole bunch of mineral compound right there. Sounds good to me. I think we can live with that. Uh, what kind of constructions and things do we have? So we've got structures. We can do a door. I think that's probably a good idea. How do I rotate the door? Door, you want to be rotated? All right, well, let's put in some walls anyways. I can't seem to get that to work the way that I want it to, and maybe it's due to the fact that it's a door, and it has to have, like, a confining space on either side. Might help out a little bit. A little bit of mining going on down here. What is that, like a treasure chest? Open it! What could be terrible inside of there? It's space herpes! We've got a cloning chamber. We've got some fasteners, and we've got a colonist log. Okay. I don't know why a colonist left his log down here, but hey... Sometimes you gotta drop a log, man. It is what it is. What do these cost me to make right here? These are gonna cost us five of something. Is that something that I manufacture over here? It does. Okay, well, manufacture five of those then. Go for it. If you've got time, manufacture, yeah, like, make like 20 of those. So that I can get things taken care of and we can get stuff started. What other things are around? We've got utility floors. Okay. Probably recommend dropping those on in right there so that we've got like a uniform floor space right there. I will more than likely, once I have that done. Yeah, just like bang that out right there so we've got like fully enclosed spaces that we can live inside of. How do I tell where my power grid's at? What is that? Teresa Gretsch is now a level 2 miner. Oh, a bunch of people are level 2 miners. It's probably good to know. Can I like right click on those to make them go away? I can. Nice. I don't like it when notifications hang around a little too much. It looks like she's manufacturing something, which is great. You can just leave that on the ground right now. I'm not even that concerned about it. Just laser those walls on in so that this place looks a little bit mo more coherent as like a structure. And we'll get that going right there. Can I just say how much I like the soundtrack right now? I like the music. It feels like underground digging music. I can dig it. I can dig it. Yep, that's what was wrong with the doors. The doors wanted me to put them in like so. Uh, what else do we have? We've got a power conduit. Speedy electron travel to machines in need. And that's already been set up. Okay, we've also got a coal generator. Alright. I don't know if I need another one of those. Maybe. Maybe a not. I don't know. What other stuff do we have in here? We've got ourselves a crop field. We've got a biorefiner. We've got a research station. Okay, a research station sounds like a reasonably decent... Yeah, just open up the capsule, whatever. We'll get another person going over here, and then deconstruct that real fast. And what I would like to see... Is actually... Let's drag that out by one more space right there. In addition, I'd like a wall to be deconstructed, like, right there. Once that wall's been deconstructed, I see something good on that side. So we're going to go after some hematite on this side so that maybe it turns into something that we want to have. So we'll get them going real fast. We'll put a door in right there so that it looks nice and wonderful if people come over to visit. Because, you know, you never know when you're going to have, like, a fancy party in space. And so these guys are over here mining. Robots are doing their thing. I don't know how hard it is to, like, fix a robot. I seem to remember that being a thing that I had to do back when I played the game last time as the robots would break down. And you had to, like, fix them with something. But I don't remember exactly how to fix them. I may turn this into my little crop area. And I think that's probably a really good spot to start. It takes a whole bunch of building materials over here to make this work. But let's get a little crop place started. Like, I don't know if this is going to function the way that I want it to function. But we do have access to a whole bunch of random stuff right here. Uh, what else can I craft? So we've got bioplastics. What does that take? It takes hemp. Okay. And then for cloth, we need hemp as well. For structural resin? Yeah, just make me more structural resin for right now. Make sure there's always somebody over here making structural resin because we're picking up, like, a whole bunch of random mineral compounds just laying around, and I doubt that we're going to need those long term. So just, like, make it happen for me out here, Captain. We've also got access to some anthracite on this side and what looks like another isolated facility. I don't know if I want to dive into there just yet. There's the distinct possibility there may be some kind of threat or some kind of issue inside of there that we probably don't want to run into. Might be a little dangerous. I don't know. I'd be careful about opening up airlocks and things like that underground in areas where I've never been. 
I would just be careful about that. That seems like a risky gesture. It seems like something bad might happen if and when I do that. So you guys just keep mining. So we can plant hemp over here. Yeah, go ahead, plant some hemp. Why not? We'll plant a hemp right there. I actually don't want a hemp right there. I wanted potatoes. Yeah, potatoes sound good. Let's get some dirters up in there. This side will be hemp. This side will be dirters. We'll try to keep like a nice strip up inside of here so they can enter and leave the facility from right there and like go somewhere else. Is the somewhere else dangerous? Is the somewhere else something I should be worried about? Or is it like resource farming? Like I go out and I do that and then nothing bad happens and there's no consequences for any of my actions. That's the question you got to ask yourself. I'll put you in right there. And I'll knock out that wall a little bit later if I need to. For right now, it doesn't appear to be crazy pertinent. I'd like to see some storage. What's up with storage? So we get storage crates. A 2x2 two two general purpose container for storing whatever. Okay. Actually, we don't want that to go right there. That's a mistake. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that right there because I think the door is going to go in that spot and I don't want to mess up our walkways. we got a whole bunch of anthracite coal right here, which is pretty rad. So let's go ahead and take care of that too so that we have lots and lots of fuel sources. What is that, a charge pad? Oh, the robots charge up now. Okay. Good that you start out with a charge pad. I think the last time I played the game, my robots were really like limited use. They would like fall over dead after a little while and it was because they ran out of electricity. Now that you start with a charge pad, that's pretty sweet. I like how the little areas are designated by their function too with the little LED lights. It's got kind of like a spacefaring feel to it so that can people figure like people can figure out where they're going or like what they're doing or what they're trying to accomplish. So she has a new ailment, hand cramp from mining. That sucks. Well, hopefully we'll get some doctors or something in the near future so that I can fix that. Got a bunch of random busted walls over here. I'll probably set those up for deconstruction real fast. I don't think you can tear out floors just yet, but we might be able to overwrite them if we're very careful about it. A little bit of something over there, too. Yeah. Let's keep going in this direction. What's the worst that can happen? At least that gives us access to a few more resources. I think I'd like to designate one of these people to be a... engineer... Yeah, be an engineer and a builder, please. Just like one person who's actually dedicated to doing something other than moving objects around would be great. I thought that person dropped dead all of a sudden. I was like, no! They got us with the space aids! Weak. Super, super weak. But nope, just a little... A little sleepy do time right there. A little sleepy do time. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. Oh, that's water right there. Okay. We've got water. It looks like there's coal in the floor right there, too. Which is kind of curious. Is she the one whose job's priority I reassigned? They're not. Hmm. Okay. Well, I was hoping that she was, but maybe the other person went for building instead. What's going on over here? You just like flamethrowering a growing area into place? It's pretty sweet. I mean, if I could use a flamethrower to build buildings, I think I would be much more inclined to become like a builder as like what I want to do in life. You know what I mean? Plant some hemp over there too. And then we're just going to have this run like, maybe I'll put in, well, I may have spaced things poorly. I may have spaced things poorly, but it looks okay for right now. Let's go ahead and speed things up ever so slightly so that things get done a little bit faster. Our engineers are engineering and turning random dirt into apparently building materials with LED lights and everything. So good for them. That's been planted. That should be a dirter crop right there. So get that up and running just in case we end up needing lots and lots of food. The research station I'll probably just put like in this main thoroughfare. Can I only put that in certain spots? So 
We've got walls. We've got colonists. We've got furniture. So we've got beds around. I think we need cloth for the bed, though, and I don't think we have any of that right now. Yeah, I think we're a little bit locked down on that front. There's a planetary map. Surface visibility is offline. Map table required. Okay, good. All right. Well, at least we know what we're working towards now. So we've got all of our crops officially planted with that last click right there. So we've got potatoes coming in. we got a little bit of food. We don't have to worry about famine, death, destruction, misery, any of that other kind of stuff. Why are people not deconstructing this right here? Shouldn't they be? Shouldn't that be a thing that we're, like, on? Yeah, just grab whatever you have laying around. That's fine. I don't mind. Whatever you have laying around is perfectly fine by me. Later on, what I'll do is I'll assign these people to jobs, and then I'll color code them, like, Star Trek style. So that, like, we know what everybody does just at a look. So we'll make engineers, like, blue. We'll make general purpose workers, like, I don't know, like, white or, like, brown. And then when we have, like, defensive workers, they'll be red. Uh, botanists will be green, so on and so forth. So that when you see them running around the base, like chickens with their heads cut off, we'll at least know what they're doing and what they're actively working on. Brobot, are you getting that done right there? Brobot, what are you doing right now? Chilling? All right, man, you don't have to do anything important right now. I'm not against it. So how do I get this research table done? Let's find out. So it takes 125 watts. So it needs a science lab floor in order to function. All right. And then we can more than likely make that happen. Let's dig out a little science lab down here. I'm going to take some walls. Maybe move those over to there. Move those down to there. And then we will cancel those right there because we got lucky wall spaces on that side and then I'm gonna dig out that wall real fast and once it has been dug we'll turn this into a science floor right here I don't know how much science area we're gonna need in order to make this all work but it eh, looks okay to me uh, there's the science lab floor right there so we'll go ahead and drop that on in this area we'll have to wait and see. So we've got 10 potatoes right there with 15% satiation. It looks like we still have some nutrient bars left though. So we should have at least a couple of days worth of resources remaining before that gets any more difficult. I'm thinking we're gonna have to double up on fabrication in here. That's what I'm really thinking. Can I make another fabricator? Yeah, make me another bio refiner right there. And then as far as the power system goes, Maybe run that over to there so that we've got two. And then what I can do is I can queue up the jobs over on this side to just make structural resin for a while so that we have even more of it coming out and we're getting rid of some of this dirty space that we have laying around. What do those take? Those take structural resin. Okay. I don't know if things are going to be built in like a specific order or not or if there's like a priority to what gets built versus what does not. I do feel like I have a lot of people just like standing around doing nothing right now. And I'm a little bit curious what's going to happen if I assign them to mine. Well, it looks like they hop straight to it if you do that. Looks like they hop straight to it. They really, really, really... I mean, they get to use, like, a laser gun to mine, though. Look, they've got, like, a space SMG that they use to mine. So if that's what mining was, I would want to do it, too, because I finally got to fire a death ray. You know, for the first time in my life, I get to fire a death ray. And how frequently do you get to say, I'd sign up for that mining job. I'd sign up for that. Everybody would sign up for that. Come on, get it all done. Actually, if we could find another pot or two and get some more productivity going, that'd be great, too. What is that, azurite? Oh, we got copper around. Okay, we've also got this thing. What's in there? Now we got five potatoes, and we got a colonist's log. Okay. I don't know where the colonist's logs go, but we've been unlocking them, which is kind of shiggity sweet. She placed that box there especially just so she could use it as a pillow. It's a little uncomfortable around here right now, okay? It's not my fault. It's a little bit uncomfortable around here. It's 
It's interesting to me that they seem so fascinated with certain jobs over other ones. I may have to do some management here. One is high priority, so make hauling kind of a lower priority. You make engineering your number one priority and then building your number two priority. And I think engineering will be like a blue color. Perfect. Looks good. Now you can tell who the engineers are. That's actually perfect color coding right there. That makes me very, very happy. So we've got an engineer now. Uh, the crop is actually coming in pretty good at the moment. I don't think we have too much to worry about around there. They're working on getting stuff done, but it's taken a hot minute for even like the simplest task to get finished off. I was hoping that would finish at any moment, but... I don't think we're bio-refining as fast as I think that we're bio-refining. Alright, so I set this thing's priority high in the queue so that it'll get done a little bit faster. She should be putting together the materials right now to get it done. And we do have an engineer ready to go. Did she just salute when the engineer went by? I was like, whoa! Engineers get mad respect in this environment. We mostly just use them for, like, ribbing when you're a geologist. You'd be like, hey, 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 go, te go tell the engineer one of your ideas and watch how fast he has a nervous breakdown. That's like, that's like, that's how you do it when you're a geologist. you be like, hey, uh, is this thing that I'm hitting with my hammer load-bearing? And then you just watch the sweat beads pop out on his forehead. I feel like these crops are taking their sweet-ass time. But I think they're growing at the same rate as anything else. We'll set this up for parts fabrication at first because we need a lot more. Like, it takes a long time to fabricate some of this stuff. Like, it takes us a whole bunch of these materials just to get one of these. And so having two of these set up to fabricate, like, everything we need, I might set up two more right here so that we've got two for cloth and we've got two for building materials. Might be a really, really good idea. There's our first storage crate, too, which will cut down on transit time once we start getting hauling going. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get that stuff up in there. Very nice. Okay, so now we're starting to get some objects centralized. That's going to be a major part of the logistics of this place actually, like, working out okay. Because now, the person that's fabricating only needs to run down here, grab that, then go back, and now we've got ourselves an established chain. Aw, yeah. So she is now a level 2 builder. Fantastic to hear that. Why is this not happening, though? It's in the high priority. Why are you guys still building crates first? Hmm, game, I think you're pulling the shenanigans on me. I feel like you might be pulling the shenanigans on me, game. You might be pulling the old bamboozly. Oh, wow, they've cleaned this area out nicely. Good. Fantastic. It's not nearly as ugly over here as it used to be. So those are potatoes, and that's obviously like our little spice rations down there, right? Oh, good, they're building the other one now. Good, now we'll have even more throughput. Fan-freaking-tastic. Get that thing done. All right, now put in the conduit. Hopefully they can install the conduit from, like, anywhere. Right? Guys, can you install the conduit from, from, from everywhere? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they can't install the conduit from anywhere. There we go. So now we got two of these. Make that infinite. It should be making structure resin at all times. I don't know how much more mineral compound I have, but my sense is that we're probably going to have to get back to mining soon. And that's okay. That's all right. Get back to it, everybody. Let's start clearing out some of these little areas. Maybe we'll find another pod for another worker, too. Got mostly open, clear floor right there, so that's all right. Set them up to do that, and then we'll kind of bring that around. I don't really care if they get anything too important done right now. I just kind of want more space to work with, and I want more materials that they can store up. Let's open up this canister. So we've got ourselves a colonist log. We've also got some hematite. We've got some azurite. We've got some anthracite, and we've got a little bit of mineral compound. So pretty much that crate was full of dirt. That's the roundabout way of saying that the container was just full of dirt. 
Very nice. Get that all nice and evened out right there. I think it's probably time for us to put down a research station as well. I'm going to drop that right there so that it's done. So that it is known. We're going to take a power conduit out this way. Exactly like so. And that's pretty much what I was going for right there. We'll start assigning some science division people into. I'll probably have the science division will probably be purple. The guys that are going to be working on all of our other stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll make them black. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Like, I need everybody to be color-coded, though, so that we know what jobs they do, just to keep things organized at a glance. Apparently, we have another hand cramp that needs to be dealt with that I had. Oh, my God. What's going on down here? Uh, we got ourselves another colonist log. We got ourselves some bioplastic, a little bit of cloth. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Dude, if I can get some more cloth, this is going to be some good stuff right here. I can actually build me a couple beds so that people sleep a little faster. Looks like we're striking out on that front, though, unfortunately. We did get a whole bunch more free weed, though, so what's not to love about a bunch of free weed? I mean, anybody want some free weed? Anybody want some free weed? How goes the whole drilling process down here? Good? Bad? Mediocre? Alright. It looks like they're mining pretty quick. Yeah. Leave that alone real fast, but good job, everybody. That has supplied us with much more material that we didn't have previously. I'm going to let them get that stuff stored up into crates, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you for stopping by for Mercury Fallen. I will see you a later, I guess. My name is Splattercat. I find any games on the internet, sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile, so you don't have to. If you wanted to get the game, it's down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the Patreon if you wanted to support me in my never-ending quest to find more indie games for you to peruse. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.